29 hours after a mass shooting stunned the city of St. Paul. Police are still asking why this happened. All of us asking, how could it have been prevented? 15 people were shot and one woman in her 20s died. WCCO's Marielle Mose joins us live outside 7th Street Truck Stop Bar this morning with the very latest on the investigation. L. Heather, this is a popular street full of bars and restaurants, just one block from the XL Energy Center, so often filled with sports fans. But Saturday night, it turned into a horrific scene where police say they found gunshot victims lying in the street behind me and in the bar. In total, police say they found 55 shell casings on the scene when they arrived. All day Sunday, homicide investigators and the forensic units reconstructed the crime scene. They're still working to determine a motive and already arrested three people as suspected shooters. Also throughout the day Sunday, city and state leaders weighed in on this mass shooting, sharing their grief, heartbreak, and support for the victims and the family who lost a loved one. Among those leaders who spoke out was St. Paul's Mayor Melvin Carter. The reason we're so shocked and appalled and heartbroken anytime something like this happens is because we're not used to things like this happening in our city and because we don't accept things like this happening in our city. And that's why our police officers show up as quickly as they do. All three suspected shooters were hospitalized for the injuries that they sustained at this shooting. And we are we know that they are um, arrested. However, they have not been charged yet. And we're expecting those charges to happen sometime as early as this afternoon. And as, at that point, we will name all three suspects. Heather. All right, Mary Elmos, thank you.